this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now we're going to be talking about how to create a starburst, which is um, just a, it's different from a lens flare, but essentially let me show you what it is that we're talking about here. And we have a picture of uh, a galaxy here. I believe this is the Andromeda galaxy. And what we're looking for here is these things here. It's called little starbursts. And uh, you can create uh, starbursts and you can emphasize them to, um, for for example, for a picture like this, you can create more, you know, starbursts to emphasize more of the photo. Or you can add this to uh, as reflections. So like on cars, shiny surfaces and things like that, you can use these to really emphasize and make your pictures pop out. So what we need to do here is just bring up our layers palette. And uh, for the moment here, we're just going to create a new layer. And uh, we're going to fill this with black. So we're just going to go ahead, since we have white on black here, we're just going to go ahead and press Control and Backspace to fill it in with black, right? So we're just going to use this as a temporary space to create our starburst. It's easier to see what we're doing in black as opposed to on the image that we're working with. So this is just a temporary thing. We're going to create a new layer here. And this is the one that we're going to be working with. So uh, what we need to do here is uh, just go to a brush tool and uh, make sure that we have a pretty small brush. So with the bracket tool here, I'm just creating something that's pretty small. Um, two pixels will probably do. We want to click and with the ho with, hold down the shift key and drag. So we create a line like so. Okay. Now that we have that line, we're just going to go ahead and filter, blur, and motion blur. And we're going to make sure that our angle is at zero. And the distance is a proportionate or appropriate to the size of, uh, of, of this, the line that we've drawn. So if we have a small line like this one, then you're probably not going to need that much because you don't want to go overboard like this where you can't really see the line of the starburst. So we just want something in this case, probably something like that. So there's still a bit of a highlight here with the white. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click. Okay. And now we're just going to duplicate that layer. So we're just going to do the, the shortcut Control and J. So we have uh, a duplicate of that layer. Now we're going to go ahead and um, with uh, make sure that we have a Move tool here selected. We're going to do Control and T, which is a shortcut for Free Transform. Now if we are with our mouse just outside the image, you can see that we have the uh, mouse um, changes here, the, the different icons, and we want one that looks like that, right? We want to rotate that image. And we want to rotate it with the shift key so that it's um, sticking to um, defined angles here. We want to set it down here to uh, a 90% angle so that we have a cross. So we're going to press enter here and we have our cross here. Now we're going to um, select our two layers and uh, duplicate them both. And with the, both of them selected, we're going to do again a control and T. And uh, this time we're going to rotate it, but we want to rotate it still holding down shift. And we want to rotate it so that we're uh, in between, right? So we're in between, so we're at a 45 degree angle here. And uh, we're going to also make the um, these, uh, these secondary starbursts here smaller. So the way that we do this is uh, if we move in our mouse into uh, one of the corners here, right? So we have a corner here. We can make things smaller, right? But uh, we want to make it smaller from the center. So what we need to do is... Uh, Hold down the Alt and the Shift key to make sure that we're making it proportionally smaller to the center. So we're holding down Alt and Shift. And we're just going to make it smaller. Um, it's up to you, really, uh, visually. Um, I want to make it probably something like this. So you're just noticing that this is smaller than that. So we're going to press Enter. And here we are with our starburst right there. Okay. And the final step is uh, just to create a circle. So we're going to go ahead with our elliptical marquee tool here. Uh, make sure that our mouse is in the center. And uh, from the center, hold down, again, the Alt and the Shift so that we're creating uh, a perfect circle from the center. And we want that circle to be roughly the size of the uh, smaller of our burst here. So there we are to the edges of our burst. There's nothing, none of this is actually scientific. This is just more aesthetics. So that's just what I prefer. I'm going to create a new layer here. And uh, with our new layer and with our selection here, I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit and Stroke. And I'm going to make sure that I have a width of one pixel. I just want it really thin. Color of white and uh, the location can be in the center. This doesn't really matter here, inside, center, or out. I'm just going to leave it default in the center and click OK. So I'm going to deselect, so Control and D, 
So we have our circle here. And the last step is to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And now we just want to add enough of a Gaussian Blur so that we have a bit of that uh, blurred circle with the, that's part of the lens flare, right? So I'm just going to leave it. For this example, a 1.5, you can play around uh, to see what it is that you like. All this is pretty much just a visual thing. It's uh, uh, how much it strikes to you as being the thing that you're looking for, essentially. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the other thing you can do here is play around with the opacity, yeah? So you can set that circle a little bit less. For example, I want it at 50%, so it's just a bit more, it's, it's a bit more faint. So here we are. We have our starburst. I'm going to select all my layers with shift and uh, then merge layers with the ones that are selected, right? So we have our starburst here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have our starburst and uh, we can move around our starburst, but we only have one starburst. And the idea of this is actually to create a brush. That's the most uh, um, convenient ways to create a brush so that, first of all, so you can go back in and reuse this, and also so that if you're going to create more than one starburst, you're not just creating multiple, multiple layers, copies, and then dragging them about. So the way that we do this is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn everything off here. Um, we want, for the brush, the way that this works better is if our brush is black to create for Photoshop to create that brush, it needs something that is black. It works, works b best on black. So the way that we do this, transform our white um, starburst into black, is to just do the shortcut with our starburst here selected, of course. Um, control and I. And we inverse it. So now it's on, you know, it's a black starburst. So now with that selected, with that uh, there, we can go ahead and go to edit and... Uh, Show all menu items if you're not showing everything. And uh, click on Define Brush Preset. And here we are. Now you can see that this is what it's creating here, a little starburst. So I'm going to name this Starburst. And um, unselect it so that we're not viewing it anymore. And now we're going to go back here into our uh, black layer. And I'm going to create a new layer. Now this is just for us to play around. So. I'm going to select the brush and uh, expand our brush palette here. And as you can see, the last thing here, if you just scroll all the way to the bottom, is we have our newly created uh, starburst. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click. And as you can see, we have our starburst. Now, the good thing about the brush is that with the bracket, we can make bigger, st smaller starbursts and bigger ones, right? Now, we don't want to go. As you can see here, the, the size of the starburst that we carried originally is probably the best size that you're going to get it to because if you're making it bigger, then you're going to get it jagged. So if you're going to create a huge starburst, normally you're not, but if you're going to create a huge one, create originally a big starburst and then you can make it smaller. But usually starbursts are not that big. So for something that I drew of that size, that works fine. So here we are with a little play playground. I'm going to delete these other layers here. Go back to our Andromeda image here, and now I'm going to create a new layer. And uh, over top of that layer, just so that if I create any mistakes, I'm not drawing on top of the uh, uh, galaxy image here, I'm going to um, create some starbursts. So here we are. I'm just uh, clicking away, emphasizing some of the stars. And as you can see, uh, it creates quite a nice little pattern that we can accentuate things. So anything that's shiny, you can use uh, this uh, Starburst um, brush now that will be saved in your Photoshop. So you've only need to do it, done it once. And uh, now you can uh, have that, you know, essentially forever with you now, that, um, that brush to create these Starbursts. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.